Ljepota grada noću razgledavao je slavni Oscarovac Jeremy Irons. Odušeljen ljepotama uživao je u prekrasnom pogledu s broda Sea Star. I like the fish. I like the temperature of the water. I like the wind. I like the sun. I like looking at the coastline which was unspoiled. I loved the people I met. Um, I love the oysters. I mean, I come, I live in Ireland a lot, and we produce oysters, which we're quite proud of. They didn't touch these. These were great oysters. Have you been thinking about uh, buying a house? No, I try not to think about buying any more property. <laughs> But I have been making sure that I have the email addresses of various people who do have property around here. So one day maybe. Yes, indeed. Na kruzingu okograda bilo je 30-ak visokih uzvanika Sarajevo film festivala. Među njima je Paul Branningham, glavni glumac filma Angel Share, koji je na nedavnom filmskom festivalu u Kanu osvojio prestižno treće mjesto. Strastveni zaljubljenik u nogomet i Modrića i Jelevića nije skrivao oduševljenje gradom, no još je više bio sretan kad su mu javili da je njegov film osvojio nagradu u Kanu. Well, we we were actually back home when when that happened and I was with I was with my little boy and to be honest with you I was a little bit emotional, you know. It's like someone says to me, "What is it?" and I says, "Well, it's kind of like an Olympic sprinter getting bronze." You know, he doesn't go home and say his mama only got bronze, he got a medal, you know. So I was very very proud. A o velikim nagradama puno može reći i Cat Willers, producentica filma Ničija zemlja Dani Satanovića, koji je 2001. dobio Oscara. No Cat radi i na drugi veliki projektima, od kojih je najzanimljiviji onaj koji se sprema na hrvatskoj obali. I am involved in something that is going to be produced on the Croatian coast next year, but I'm not at liberty to tell you what it is yet. Just I can't. It's not mine. I can't tell you. It's a big project, it's a small project. It's a beautiful project and I can't talk about it. <laughs> Sa snimanja filma s Nicole Kidman i Colinom Firthom upravo je stigao producent Andy Peterson, koji je jedan od zaslužnih što je u Sarajevo i Dubrovnik stigao Kevin Spacey, Mickey Rourke i Morgan Freeman. The bringing Kevin to Dubrovnik was a wonderful thing because we, you know, he stayed in that beautiful villa, but he really understood why the Sarajevo Film Festival was important and why the connection between Sarajevo and Dubrovnik was important. And so I think to bring, bring film stars here and to let them understand something about what happened here, to make them feel part of how they can help maybe bring some conciliation not just here but you know to the world in general, that's a very special thing. No dovesti zvijezde nije ni malo lagan posao. It's quite a responsibility actually because we talk to people and say you know you really have to come to Sarajevo and you know I've just worked with I've just finished a film with Colin Firth and Nicole Kidman I hope very much that they will come in in future years everybody who comes loves it and I think that word will start to be spread so, that so have you told that to Nicole Kidman uh, I've certainly told that to Colin Firth he was really hoping to come last year and I'm sure he'll come in the next year or two uh, Nicole doesn't know yet but um, I'm certainly going to work on it Veliki prijatelj Dubrovnika i čovjek bez kojega ne bi bilo ni Sarajevo film festival, ani dolaska zvijezda u grad je svakako Mirsad Purivatra. Već 18 godina dovodi zvijezde u ovaj dio svijeta i organizira druženja s filskim umjetnicima. Evo, mi smo tu došli u posjetu prijateljima. Super, mislim, ono sve što smo dogovarali mi smo ispunili i mislim da sve ljudi koji su došli ovdje stvarno sretni. U jedna od tih osoba koja je bila u Sarajevu, nije došla Dubrovnika, to je Anđelina Džoli. Kad će doći? Jednostavno moramo nešto ponuditi, dakle ne samo turizam, ne samo dolazak u bilo za grada. Ja mislim da su većina ovih osoba koje dođu ovdje željna razgovora, željna priča, željna nekog aktivnijeg odnosa. I ono s Anđelinom Džoli ide jako, ja bih rekao, lako kad onda uspostavite neki kontakt. To je zaista osoba s kojim je zadovoljstvo provesti vrijeme od koje možete dosta toga i naučiti i mislim da je inspiracija pogotovo za mlade te ljude koji s njom mogu razgovarati o filmu, o svim aspektima filma, tako da ne znam, možda je to prostor gdje možemo razgovarati da pričamo o tome da možda jednog dana dođe ovdje da radi sa mladima, da provede neko vrijeme. Druženje gosti u Sarajevo Film Festival u Dubrovniku nastavak je tradicije manifestacije Dubrovnik Film Meeting, kojim su u Dubrovnik od 2005. do danas posjetile najveće svjetske filmske zvijezde, kao što su glumci Nick Nolte, Steve Buscemi, Kevin Spacey i Gillian Anderson. 
Tradicija je to koja ne smije biti prekinuta upravo zbog prijateljstva Sarajeva Dubrovnika koje jače od svih kriza.